Um, the really lovely thing about working with the one shoes, you get to work with kind of amazing people, you get to see amazing animals. But um, I think the most important thing about zoos is they give all the children here, all the kids, a chance to see animals that they may never see in the wild. You know, I work on the One Show, it's a kind of programme that's all about Britain, it's all about British wildlife, it's all about British cookery, history, all that kind of stuff. But I've actually spent five years working abroad in the tropics. I've worked in South America, Africa, Southeast Asia. So I've seen lots of really cool animals and lots of great birds and lots of fantastic reptiles. But I've never seen half of these animals in here. And I would never have a chance to see them if it wasn't for zoos. And back in the day, I'm sure Peter will say, zoos used to go out into the wild and collecting animals, but they don't do that anymore. They all practice captive breeding, so all these animals have been bred in captivity. This is probably a British-born uh, boa. As um, Peter said when he just chatted to me there, you know, it, it, the, this place runs on people coming to visit this place. It runs on your membership to the zoo gardens. It runs on you paying to come in here, and the staff have done an amazing job renovating this. I've already seen pictures, actually, of how fantastic it looks. So it's absolute delight of mine to kind of open the reptile house officially or reopen it. After Sir Peter Scott, you get Michael Dilge talking about <laughs> coming down with a low. Anyway, Peter, Thank you. all the amazing zoo stuff have done all this work. All the wonderful people have come down to see um, the reptiles and Johnny Zoo. I declare the reptile house well and truly open. Yay! Yay! Thank you very much.